Hi everyone, it's day 17 of my 81 day drop in creativity challenge where I challenge you to create something every day and I show you mine if you show me yours. My question is always what will you create today? So what will you create today? I'm not outside, there's no chirping birds, beautiful lake, wind and noise, I'm just here at a ridiculous hour of the night and I, but I'm still doing it before I've gone to sleep so so far I haven't missed a day day 17 of 81 I challenge you to create something even just once during these videos I'm gonna not drag it out so I'm gonna read my little bit of mindfulness for you another one from mindful thoughts for stargazers because it was quite nice and uh, this one is randomly picked and it's called technology as our friend we need to be aware of the possible negative side effects of our information age. But we can also make use of technology to help us be more mindful. Zen master Tilnathan advocates setting an alarm every 15 minutes to remind you to come into the moment. There is now a whole range of guided meditation apps that give access to recordings from many teachers and record how many minutes you have meditated. Other wearable technology allows you to track your breathing patterns throughout the day, your heart rate and heart rate variability, a measure of your state of calm. All these tools can help us be more mindful if used in the right way. One more paragraph. The next time you are outside on a clear night, enjoying the stars and your phone pings, notice the compulsion to check it. Be aware of how your hand automatically moves to your pocket. Notice that impatient yearning, that impatient yearning to know who has contacted you. Where do you feel it most in the body? How do these feelings change as you stay with them? Without looking at your Sorry, how do these feelings change as you stay with them without looking at your phone? Use that ping as a reminder to reconnect to the moment. Now, this is interesting because they're saying, you know, to use modern technology to be more mindful. And yet for me, it's like the major stress. It's set an alarm every 15 minutes to remind you to come into the moment. Yeah. Isn't that pulling you out of the moment and back to your phone? and an app to, for you to record how many minutes you've meditated. That's like a competition for how long you can meditate in the same way as the app where you measure your, your, your footsteps. I don't think meditation is supposed to be like a, an Olympic competition. Anyway, you know, that's just me. But uh, I think that modern technology takes away from the moment. Um, I mean, I love it, but that's what I think. Okay, so uh, that wasn't very mindful. That was me whinging. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's late, and I managed not to yawn. I almost yawned. So let me share my creativity, look at some of yours. And uh, by the way, I started something new today, <laughs> just for a change. I called it the Sabs MMMs, MMMs, Minute Morning Musings. And I thought, I had this thing to share this morning, and I thought, I'd grab my phone and share it and I thought I'll make it less than three minutes well it was three minutes and three seconds I think and it'll be one idea between one minute and three minutes and I'll do it every now and then when something comes to me so check that out number one has already been published this morning on my Facebook page all right uh, so let me show you my photo of the day here it is and it's this this I don't know what it is it's some sort of tree sprouting some sort of flower or is it flower or is it excuse me oh, i'm gonna send you off to sleep there is it a flower or is it just the way the leaves start off anyway it's incredibly beautiful and i love i'm really appreciating nature these days especially uh, i don't know what it is maybe it's the covid effect but i'm really appreciating nature because i actually have to be inside every evening by seven o'clock i cheat sometimes and go into eight going at eight because I'm in the fields, but uh, theoretically I could be sent to pr prison and hung, drawn and quartered and all sorts of things. This is the poem that went with that. It just came to me today 
as I was watching um, the sunset over my favourite lake. And it's this, it's called, I called it Woodwind Concerto for some reason. Sun sighs and calls it a day, turns in for the night. Sleepy geese settle down. Ducks, I've got the, 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 the rhythm all wrong, hang on. Sun sighs and calls it a day, turns in for the night. Sleepy geese settle down. Ducks tuck their heads out of sight. Alone by his bench, lost prophet of Paris stands. Fresh flower of poetry springs to life in his hands. We'll get there in the end. And that was um, prompted by this book that someone sent me. A very good friend of mine sent me this book, and it's called Life Spring. And it's a book of poems um, from someone in uh, Sweden. Uh, an American who now lives in Sweden uh, called Life Spring, but they didn't send it to me. My friend did. My friend also sent me this, and uh, you'll like this because she said, um, "I chose this picture as I think you are wa uh, are wise as an owl." <laughs> no comment. <laughs> How beautiful! So that inspired a poem. I sent a poem back. I didn't send a thank you back. I sent a a poem and a photograph back and let me share something from you so to do this i have to share my screen uh, yes i do and i do that by clicking this button and wait and see what happens here we go you probably get a crazy effect Vroom! back to off to infinity and this is what i want to share as you can see, uh, that photo is the photo of the day. And what did I say? I said flower freely was my little thing for the day. And this, I, I'm not sure if I showed you this yesterday, but I didn't realize it's from Dorothy. And she said, you didn't see your puzzle piece. Oh, and she's absolutely, sorry, she's absolutely right. I didn't, then I looked more carefully and I realise it's a puzzle piece or a puzzle picture. I can't even remember if she, if this is one she adopted or not. And it's actually my puzzle piece with a, a green painted jigsaw piece. And this is actually a sycamore seed pod, the purple thing. And she's cleverly done things with it, including her signature. So that's really cool. Thanks for sharing that and remind and telling me that I hadn't seen it. This is from Thomas. I showed you this yesterday. I won't show you them all again, but it's amazing. He's got Dark Side of the Moon uh, marbles. Can you believe that? It's ridiculous. Very jealous. And this is from Dorothy again. She said, strange things are happening. No, she didn't. She said, today's the day something special was made. And she's doing beautiful things with her paintings as well. So thanks for sharing that, Dorothy. And this is from Kirsten, who says, today's the day I'm so happy about brightness and sunlight in my small studio till 7.45. I can paint till 8.15 or even longer. And what a wonderful studio you've got. It's marvellous. We can even see some works in progress. That is an honour to be shown your little corner, uh, your creativity corner, as I call it. Oh, wonderful. Oh, my goodness. No, really, it's very touching. You know, because I've got my creativity corner and I love to see other people's. And, and this is Thomas, who is experimenting with triangles. Why? Because he did my um, photography masterclass a little while ago, which will be starting again soon. And he's been playing around with all sorts of things uh, as part of that. Fantastic. OK, so that's it. That was my video of a goat <laughs> that I discovered on a walk. Uh, which is uh, uh, which is so cute. Anyway, I'm trying to keep this short. I'm going to stop sharing. And I am going to show you one more thing, and that's this. It's uh, my quote for the day, which is from Roger von Uch, Uch or something. And he says, it's easy to come up with new ideas. The hard part's letting go of what worked two years ago. As I yawn, as I yawn my head off, coming up with idea, new ideas is easy.
the hard part is letting go of what worked two years ago. In other words, as I paraphrase, change is the only constant. To stay ahead, we too have to evolve. Don't get stuck with what worked in the past just because you can't be bothered changing. There is that saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But that can lead us to stagnation and doing the same old, same old forever and never doing anything new. So that's a pretty cool quote, I think. And I'm going to finish off with... Um, by the way, if you're watching the replay, have a look. Uh, no one watches this live because I don't tell them I'm going live on the, in this case because it's so late. But if you're watching the replay, please say hello, say hi, and um, say what you're going to create today. Share what you're going to create. Share something you've created. I will talk about it the following day. So if to finish off with um, a word from the sponsors, if you want to do something with me in the next little while, the Photography Masterclass is coming up soon. The Creativity Masterclass will be starting again sometime after that. These are nine week masterclasses. This is something new and it's called laser coaching, unlimited laser coaching. You work with me for one year and uh, it's unlimited laser coaching. You, we have a, co a short coaching session. You, uh, let me show you the, uh, the address to find out about that. Short coaching session, you go away, you do your homework, which is basically walk, working on your project that you're forging ahead on, and then you book your next session again and again and again for a year and it's an amazing deal for the first three people because I can it's such a ridiculous deal because it's kind of an experiment for me um, you're you're guinea pigging yourself to see how much you can get done in a year so go to that address infinitycoaching.biz laser and check out and see if you think it'll be a, a cool thing to do so that I'm very excited about that can't wait to have my first uh, three people on that and uh, the other thing I'm telling you about is uh, masterminds. I'm starting masterminds. They start as soon as I've, I've got the minimum, which is about, which is four people. Maximum will be six. And um, I'm still waiting to have the, um, the minimum number of people to start. If you book up and I don't have at least four people, then I will actually give you individual coaching until I have the right number then we move over to the mastermind. So you cannot lose, you can only win on this. So check that out. And the place to go to find out about that is infinitecreativitynow.com slash mastermind. infinitecreativitynow.com slash mastermind. Check it out and see if you like the sound of that. And uh, that's it, folks. I'm going to say bye-bye now. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again tomorrow, same time. Well, I hope not the same time. I hope at a much more reasonable time, same place. Uh, well, wherever I'm doing this from, hopefully it'll be in the fields again, because uh, that's really nice. And uh, I want your creativity. I want your creativity. This is what it's about. Look, it's my 81 day drop in creativity challenge. Create once or 81 times. What will you create today? And I would like to see it. Create something, take a photo, put it in the comments, and I'll talk about it tomorrow. OK, folks, thanks for watching and uh, talk to you again soon. Maybe tomorrow morning if I do a one to three minute um, minute morning musing. Who knows? We'll see. Bye for now.